Hey Gemini, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a love reading for the sign of Gemini. So if you're a Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, or if you have a stellium in Gemini, this reading is going to be for you. Keep in mind, this is going to be a general reading, so it might not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, let it try. Don't try to force the message. Also, don't let this reading take anything from you. Now, if you do resonate with this reading, please consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video. Also, keep in mind, energy is fluid. Roles can get reversed, so take how it resonates. Six of Pentacles. So for some of you, this person is five of pentacles here, ace of wands. They see you uh, as someone who's having a new beginning here. This person feels like you are having a new beginning. Or you are someone who's very focused on your pentacles right now, very focused on your money. For some of you, this person definitely feels like you're giving to two situations here. You are abandoning them or you are abandoning this connection like not completely abandon this connection but you are giving to two people or situations yeah for some of you this person feels like you are having a new beginning with someone else with the ace of wands Six of Swords. Okay, Six of Pentacles, Six of Swords. Hanged Man. Nine of Swords, Rivers. This person feels like you are not stressing over this at all. You have your guards up against them. You are very guarded when it comes to them. You are you are very like you're trying to secure yourself. That's how this person thinks. That they see you as someone who's trying to secure themselves. Also, for some of you, this person thinks that you see them in a very different light altogether. Like, however you looked at them initially, you don't see them in the same way. So for some of you, this person might feel like you don't love them the same way or you don't see them in a good light anymore. That's why you are giving to another situation or that's why you are trying to move on with the Six of Swords here. This person definitely sees you as someone who's trying to heal from all of this here. And you're not trying to force anything to happen or you're not trying to you're not in that very like hoping things to be sorted out between the both of you that's how this person sees you for some of you this person since we did have the ace of wands this person might see you as someone who's having fun with someone else Yeah, Ace of Pentacles as well. So a new beginning in career. Eight of Wands. This person feels like you are moving too fast here. Too fast for them to catch up. Like everything that happened here happened too fast. You moved on from them too fast or you decided to do move on from them. Decided to give another situation too fast and they, they can't catch up with you anymore. Or they could not catch up with you. They don't see you as someone who's stressing over the situation or stressing over whatever has happened here. Could have been a third party situation since we have the Six of Swords and the Nine of Swords. Also what I'm getting for some of you, this person thinks that you see them like... You see them as someone not worth stressing over not worth thinking over again this is this is all this person's perspective here so they could be thinking anything it doesn't even have to resonate with your energy this is how they are thinking or seeing you hmm. 
Six of Cups. Wow, look at that. Six of Pentacles, Six of Swords, Six of Cups. Six, six, six there. They see you as a soulmate, for sure. They see you as someone, who, like this is what I'm getting with the Six of Cups. This person, they see you as someone whom, whom they will miss forever. Like, you will always be in their mind. No matter where they go, what they do, no matter what how things are between the both of you, even if you have moved on from them, they'll always miss you. You'll always be on their mind. Because some of you, whenever this person closes their eyes, could be like when they're trying to sleep or something, this person really thinks about you. They really miss you. They see you. They, this person is, they still see you in front of them. So it's very possible for some of you, this person feels still feels your presence in their life. Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Yeah, it's almost like this person feels like things are stuck between the both of you. Yeah, look at that the moon. Four of Cups. This person feels this some for some of you. This person is fearing that they they are gonna get ignored by you, or you're gonna ignore them, brush them away, and keep moving forward. Somehow it's really bothering this person. It's really causing this person to be scared, to fear a lot that they are not a priority. Or you are not going to prioritize them. You're going to push them away. You're going to be. It's like you were done with them. That's how this person feels. This person feels like things are uh, very stuck. With the wheel of fortune reverse. They definitely feel like this is not over. Like some sort of unfinished business. This person feels with you. But at the same time. This person feels like things are not going their way. Their luck is not on their side right now. They are really really unlucky. Be dealing with an Aries Queen of Pentacles Pisces Cancer if I haven't already mentioned the signs this is someone who feels like they are losing you they are losing you or they are losing the battle here that's what I'm getting like they are on the losing side that sort of a thing Five of Wands, the World in Reverse. Yeah, this person definitely feels unfinished business with you. Wheel of Fortune Reverse, World in Reverse. It's almost like this person feels like there was no closure, nothing. Just things just ended abruptly. There could have been a huge fight or argument between the both of you after which things ended. And this person feels like they didn't get the closure. Or you didn't give them the closure. You just, you were in a rush. You were in a rush to move on from them. Or you were in a rush to decide whatever was good for you. You were just in a rush to do things on like however you wanted them to do. Doing things your way. For some of you, since we did have the Emperor, this person feels like you're someone who has this my way or highway kind of attitude. You're not going to be someone who compromises or you are not the kind of person who compromises. You don't want to compromise with them, with them or you wouldn't. You, you are not that person. So in a way, this person feels betrayed by your decisions here. Let me clarify something. Four of Pentacles. Three of Cups, 
Um, it could be dealing with a Virgo. Eight of Cups in reverse. This person is finding it very difficult to move on from you. They're finding it very difficult to let go of the situation, especially because they feel like there was no closure. They didn't get the closure from you. That's the reason why this person is finding it very difficult to just move on, let this go. They keep thinking about it. That's the reason why I got that energy of whenever they close their, their eyes, they see you, they feel your presence. They, will, they feel like they'll, you will always live in their head. Like this person will keep wondering what happened. What happened? Now, roles can get reversed, but this is how this person is feeling. They are disappointed and in a sad state right now. They're definitely looking for answers with the hermit. They're trying to find clarity. They're looking for answers here. This person could be someone who is for the first time listening to their intuition or at least trying to listen to their intuition, trying to listen to what they're inner voice is trying to tell them what their inner voice is, where their inner voice is trying to guide them. So for the first time, this person could be listening to their intuition or at least getting aware of their intuition, getting aware of their inner higher self or inner voice. Four of Pentacles, Four of Cups. For some of you, this person might feel like it's pointless to try to hold on to that belief that you, you will want reunion with them. Or you want you will want to do something with them, like you, you will still want to do something with them. It's pointless to think that. Emperor again. We saw the Emperor once. Seven of Pentacles. What is this? The star. Seven of Wands. Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck. Here it's upright. Wheel of Fortune and Ace of Wands. Six of Swords. Hmm. We'll be dealing with an Aquarius. It's like for some of you, this person is thinking that it's your stubbornness, your my way or highway kind of attitude against their what do they want. And you are someone who will always choose what you want over what someone else wants. So for some of you, this person might think that you are a selfish person here or you are someone who will behave selfishly. You will choose selfishly. This person feels like this is this is a challenging like this is a challenge this is a challenging situation. It's them against you. That's why it's not working out. For some of you, this person really feels it's them against you. That's why it's not working out. Instead, it it should be like the both of you against the problem. I hope I made sense there. This person feels like it should be both of you against the problem, but it's them against you. That's what it has become. And that's why you are, you are going to choose you, of course. Why would you choose them? Why would you choose what they want or how they think? Why would you want to even look at the situation that way? There's a reason why this person could be feeling very insecure or feeling a lot of like a subconscious fears and insecurities are coming up for this person. Hmm. 
Let me pick up that card. King of Cups. The Lovers. Wow, King of Cups and the Lovers. This person is telling me that they have a lot of feelings for you and they feel a very strong connection with you. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, look at that. King of Cups, the Lovers, Ace of Pentacles, bottom of the deck is High Priestess. Yeah, this person, somehow their intuition could be like they, they are waking up in a way or they're feeling very intuitively connected to you. But I was trying to look at this person's true intentions. We have the King of Cups, the Lovers, and the Ace of Pentacles. They definitely want a new beginning with you. They feel a very strong connection with you. And given a choice, they would choose you. That's what they, they feel or think. Given a choice, they would choose you. They would choose this connection. They would choose to want to work on this connection. But it's like you don't care what, what they're choosing or what they want. You are not giving them, like their opinion has no value here to you. Or what they want has no value here to you. Okay. You could be dealing with another Gemini, Pisces. Nine of Pentacles. Page of Wands. Ooh, Knight of Wands. Oh, well. Queen of Swords. You are telling me a different story here. So, yeah. Um, heroes can get reversed. Ace of Swords in reverse. Hmm. Yeah, I got the Three of Swords energy before with the Six and the Nine of Swords. So it could have been a third party situation. Yeah. And that's the thing. It's almost like this person was trying to make everything like it's like they were trying to tell sell a sob story. This person was trying to sell a sob story of, oh, this this is uh, I really want to fix this. I really have deep feelings, but Gemini is making up their mind. Gemini doesn't want to hear me out. Gemini doesn't want my explanation. That sort of a thing here. But here's the thing, Page of Wands, Knight of Wands, this is a this is an player. This is someone who is not ready for commitment. They don't they are not looking for commitment. They don't want to commit, or simply it's they, they are someone who will take the easy way out. Page of Wands, Knight of Wands. This is someone who could be younger than you. Since we do have Page of Wands, Knight of Wands, and Queen of Swords here. See, this is the thing. This Queen of Swords is definitely you. You're an air sign, so this is definitely you here. And the Queen of Swords to the Ace of Swords in reverse. Ace of Swords in reverse talks about lies, manipulation and uh, like twisting the truth, twisting words. That's the Ace of Swords in reverse. But you cannot really lie or try to twist the words in front of the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is highly intuitive. She's intelligent as well as highly intuitive. So she can figure out lies very easily. So whatever lies this person tried to sell you, uh, you didn't really buy them. For some of you, you see this person as someone, Nine of Pentacles, Page of Wands, Knight of Wands, they are looking to play the field. That's how you see this person. This is someone who's single. They prefer being single. The reason they prefer being single is because so that they can have their options open or say, so that they can come in and out or they can do whatever they want to do. But you are not up for that. 
Look at that, the moon. You don't trust this person. You feel like this is someone who keeps secrets or they, hi they are hiding things from you or they, th that is who they are. They try to create illusion. They try to lie. Page of Swords. Yeah, somehow let's look at that. Page of Wands, Page of Swords, Knight of Wands. And then we have the Queen of Swords here. So some of you know this person is stalking you. They are trying to find a way to communicate with you or they do want to talk to you. You know that. But the reason you are the six of swords or you are trying to walk away from this person, move on from this person is simply because you feel like you are the queen of swords. They are the page of wands, the knight of wands. They, you don't want to deal with the page and knight. That two page and knight of wands, not even pentacles. You don't want to deal this, with this kind of energy. We do have the moon and the sun here. Four of wands. Hmm. Sun and the four of wands and the ten of pentacles. Hmm. Four of Wands, Ten of Pentacles definitely talks about a marriage. So some of you, you... Hmm. You could have been married to this person. So some of you, definitely, you could have been married to this person. Or like you were in a long-term commitment with this person here. Pages are messengers. Page of Swords is Page of Swords to the Moon. It's like someone telling you lies. Someone trying to create illusion with their words. So for some of you, yes, you were married to, to this person here. And you might have kids with this person as well. Either you're in a long-term commitment with this person or married to this person and you were, um, you have kids and everything. But here's the thing. This person is, even if you are not married to this person, you could have been in a long-term commitment with this person. And you wanted kids. That's that sort of a situation here. But yeah, you see this person as like, even if they want to, like, even if they were married, even if they were in a long-term commitment, they were pretending to be single or they were behaving to as someone who is single, who, you know, like they, they're not in a commitment with someone else. That's the lie this person could have tried to show to other people. That they are not really in a commitment. They're single. So they, that's the thing with the nine of pentacles. Nine of pentacles can be a selfish person. So, yeah. Magician, Page of Cups, Seven of Cups. You could be dealing with another Gemini or Virgo, Star in Reverse, Two of Swords in Reverse, King of Wands. Could be dealing with another Air Sign, Gemini or Aquarius. Seven of Cups, King of Wands. Page of Wands, Knight of Wands, King of Wands. Could be dealing with the fire sign, Aries, Girl, Sagittarius, but you definitely feel like this person is too fiery. They are could be a very charming, good looking person you are dealing with. And even if they try to pretend that they are the King of Wands, they they are really just the page and the Knight of Wands. 
sort of a situation here with this person. They're not really the king. For some of you, you have made a decision with this person here that even if they try to apologize, even if they try to manifest another beginning or try to heal the situation, you don't want to give them another chance. You have already made that decision. So some of you still cared about this person. From like deep down, you cared about this person. And for the others of you, you are waiting for an apology from this person's side. A proper apology. If this person properly apologizes, if they start behaving the way they should behave, then maybe you will give them a chance. But for some of you, don't have high hopes with this person here, with the star in reverse. You feel that connection is not there. The connection is, the connection has changed. Things have changed. The way you used to feel so connected to this person and you wanted really, really to manifest with this uh, person here, to manifest a future, to manifest stability. You don't feel the same way with this person here. So for some of you, you feel like your dreams have been shattered. Or you, you can't look at this person in the same way you used to, no matter how hard you try. You can't look at them the same way. So for some of you, you might be confused what you should be exactly doing with this person here. Now, since we do have the Magician in the Page of Cups, you, you are definitely manifesting... Uh, Apology from this person's side. You are manifesting this person back in your life. And you could be doing it subconsciously because for some of you, you're really confused and don't know what to do with this person because you don't have high hopes from this person. So you're a mixed bag of emotions here with this person. So some of you with the King of Wands, you do feel attractive, attract. You do feel attracted to this person, that attraction is still there, but it's like you're trying to understand, is it just attraction? Do I, do I still see, really see a future with this person? Is there a point to it? Page of Swords. Two of Cups. Ooh. Six of Cups and Two of Cups. Star in <laughs> reverse. One of Wands. This is someone who's definitely going to communicate with you. Page of Swords, the Two of Cups. They are going to talk to you. They are going to communicate with you. Now, whether you want to heal the situation or the situation can be healed or this, the damage has been done that there's no repairing cannot happen, that is a different thing here. For some of you, the situation cannot be really healed anymore. Because, as I said, you don't see this person in the same way you used to. So you might not be able to connect with this person the way you used to. You might feel like the connection is gone. That, that connection you used to feel with this person, that strong pull you felt for this person here, that might be gone.
King of Wands in reverse. Queen of Wands. Ten of Swords. There's definitely a third party situation here. King of Wands in reverse. So King of Wands upright is still a better energy, but we literally have the we had the King of Wands upright and now we have the King of Wands in reverse. For some of you, this person still has some, they still are lying about something or the other. That's the reason why this connection cannot be healed anymore. They are lying about something or the other. It's simply that you have lost all trust when it comes to this person. You feel like this person is manipulative, they, they lie, they are, they create tricky situations. So yeah. And for some of you, this person was actually going around cheating, uh, cheating on you with another person. So that's the reason that trust is gone. So that cannot be fixed easily. Three of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, Five of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, Three and Five of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, Queen of Cups. The tower okay this is what i'm getting for some of you things are really over between the both of you you are going through some major changes of your own and you will be able to find your own happiness without this person for some of you with the queen of cups and the four of pentacles you have realized because the tower can talk about epiphanies realizations awakening right you have realized that you don't want to give to the situation or you're going to keep holding back from this person even if this person tries to communicate, tries to work on things, you will still feel the way this person abandoned you. You will not be able to just get over that. So for some of you, things have things like things are so broken or things have this person made things so worse between the both of you that you, you will not be able to give to this person freely or you will not be able to completely trust this person or you will simply feel very detached or disconnected from this person. To the point that even if this person tries to make things work, you both try to make things work, it will not work out. That's the outcome I'm getting here. Hmm. this person is secretly watching you from a distance for some of you this could be someone new as well here but there is this resistance is from your side here hmm. intuition you might be feeling for some of you, this person really just uh, feel very connected to you. There, there could be songs like this person feels very connected to the songs. And I dropped a bunch of cards. Can I pick those up? Yeah. Tragic endings, coffin. Yeah, what did I say? Epiphanies, realizations, awakenings. That's the tower. This is for you. You might have realized, yeah, karma, consequences and effect. This person is going to realize that they're just, them losing you is just simply like that is the cause and effect. And there's no running away from it. That is what this person is going to realize. 
Well, that's your reading, Gemini. I hope you found some clarity through this reading. I'll see you guys in the next reading. Until then, take care, guys. Bye-bye.